Printers' type cases are stored in cabinets like this. The type cases go in and out on slides. However, there are no stops on these slides, so care must be taken to avoid pieing a whole case of type. To set a line or two from the slides, locate your case. Pull out the one below halfway. Then pull out your case far enough to reach the back row of boxes. When finished, push both cases back gently. Slamming a case can damage type. This is the proper way to take a case out of the cabinet. Even a heavy case can be balanced and controlled. Lift the case well up onto the bank, then down firmly against the tow board. Your instructor has shown you how to set your composing stick and how to put in a slug. The left thumb goes inside the stick where it travels along to support the type. Type is always set upside down, from left to right. Upside down means the tops of the letters are toward you in the stick. And just as this printing is read from left to right, so is the type. If you don't follow this rule, your words will print backwards. To make it easier for the camera to follow, this student will set a line of lowercase e's. The secret is to spot the nick and face of each type before picking it up. As you feed the type to the left thumb, you should be spotting the nick and face of the next piece of type. This is no lazy thumb. Notice how it slides each type squarely into place. Concentrate on looking for the face and the nick as the type lies in the case. As soon as your fingers reach the type, spot the next letter. As the type is carried to the stick, turn the nick away and the face up. If you fail to spot the type correctly, you will have to look to turn it properly. Then it will take extra time to look for the next piece of type. Check the line carefully for errors. If you discover a wrong letter, push it out of line with the correct letter. This demonstration line will not be printed, so it will be distributed from the stick. Later you will be shown how to distribute from your left hand. From the right end of the line, take a few pieces between the thumb and first finger. Then change to the thumb and middle finger, sliding the thumb down. Roll the thumb to separate the letters. 
Watch how the first finger moves back to release one letter at a time. Tip your wrist to let the type trip gently over the middle finger. In slow motion, you can see how the type lands on the body, not the face. Your instructor may have you push the type sideways instead of over the middle finger, but the idea is the same. When setting type from copy, it is very important to read the instructions. What size and kind of type are you to use? Is there an indention? Where are capital letters required? For what measure will you set your stick? Notice the action of the left arm. Can you tell why it follows the right arm? In order for both arms to do their job, you should be standing straight with feet slightly apart. Your elbows should move freely. After you have checked carefully for errors by comparing with your copy, make the line snug in the stick as your instructor has shown. He will okay the first few lines you set. This demonstration line will not be printed, so it may be distributed from the stick. Lift out a word or two. Glance at the letters. Then spell the words back into the case. Can you tell why it is not necessary to look at each letter as it is distributed? On long words, you will find it easier to pick up only a syllable or two. Now, a few summary questions. What are the two important jobs of the left thumb? Which way should the nick always face? In which direction is type always set? Why do you start distributing from the right hand end of the line? Working with type will feel awkward at first, but with good work habits and a little practice, you will soon be setting and distributing with accuracy and speed.